Hello and welcome to the Romero Threads video channel. In today's video, we are going to embroider on beanies. Now, our three most common beanies that we have. This, you know, the classic one, okay? 12 inch with the fold. Then you have this super, super classic one with the pom-pom on the top. It's kind of like the same thing. And you have this one, all right? Very popular. So this one doesn't have a fold, it's an eight inch. Okay, so I'll have the description down below on the type of beanies that we like to work with. And this, the brand is, of course, the Yupong. It's the same brand as uh, the Flex Fit. All right, so very good uh, material, okay? It'll last you forever, all right? Especially if you use it for work or if you work out with these beanies, you're gonna be good to go for a lot a lot of seasons okay so we are going to use our mighty hoops to embroider this is i like the mighty hoops for beanies because it's all about speed especially if you're cranking out 12 24 36 beanies it's all about speed okay some of the materials that we use we have the masking tape and the painter's tape okay very important is this piece of cutaway here that we have here okay so reason why you want to use cutaway because after you stitch you don't want your stitches to open up and look all distorted when somebody's wearing it okay so the cutaway will just keep those stitches nice and tight without it stretching okay so let's go ahead hoop it up okay so Let's see, yep. I always have this pointing down, the tab, okay? That's just to keep me, just to give me a good reference. All right, so you wanna keep a slight gap opened up here and you'll see why. Okay, so grab some masking tape. Okay, so our cutaway, ready to go. Now, little trick here, okay? Very important trick that I have here. Okay, so very important, okay? We got two, two important steps that we wanna take care of. First, with this painter's tape, you just wanna get a little piece, okay? You want a little piece like this big, okay? Don't have to be big. Okay, we're gonna use it for two purposes. Okay, of course, there's a million ways to find this center line. I just use my, uh, my method here. Okay, four inches here, four inches there. Therefore, this is my center line. Okay. You could fold the, the beanie in half also. It'll give you an easy way. Okay, now that I have this uh, center, between here, I'll place my little tape and I know this is my center line. Okay, number two reason. Okay, so number one is, so I use it as a center reference point. Number two is I put the letter F for front, okay. This is so I don't get confused when I'm under the hoop and and set it up upside down, okay? This keeps me, this is just a reminder. So, hey, you're good? Yes. Okay, so now I don't have to think about what's the correct positioning for this beanie, okay? So now you flip it inside out. Now you wanna make sure, okay, your F is up forward and this tag is in the back, all right? This is the back side of the beanie, all right? So let's continue. Okay, so we have our hoop ready to go. Okay, you're just gonna slide it in. All right, just slide it in like this. Okay. You want this line, bam, perfect. Kind of lined up with this cutaway. You want this nice gap right here. Okay, so you wanna make sure you have this gap here. You wanna make sure everything lines up, okay. That's why I have these grids up here. I work on a mat just so I know 
everything is straight here. So let's go ahead, painter's tape. So we wanna have four point of contact where this magnet is gonna grab this beanie and not move it, okay? So we have one, two, three here, okay? Since we have this gap, I wanna make sure I close it up a bit, okay? So I use this painter's tape and I'm just gonna tape right on the top, right here on that top, okay? So I'm good right there. And that's just gonna give it extra strength, okay? I just give it two, just cause you never know. Ready for this last step, okay? Always make sure your tab is on the opening, okay? And bam, look at that, okay? Let's check it out. Check out your line right here, looking good. Okay, everything's looking good. Of course, everything's nice and tight. Okay, one thing you don't wanna do, okay, it's tot. The correct word is tot right now. What you do not wanna do is start pulling this and yanking it where your fabric is gonna spread out. Okay, because if anything spreads out open, eventually when you take off the magnet, everything's gonna kinda pucker in. Okay, we are ready to go. Let's start stitching this. Okay, so real quick, let's talk about the first stitch that we're going to have. Okay, so since we all know this beanie, it's plush, okay? Pretty thick. So our stitches, they can get kind of lost in all this fluffiness that's in this beanie, okay? So let's talk about this first stitch that I'm going to put down, okay? Since our shape of our flag is kind of a uh, rectangle, okay? My first stitch that I'm going to put is kind of like a cross. It's going, I'm going to put down a cross stitch. So it's actually gonna start from top, I mean from bottom, moving on to the top, okay? So what it's doing, it's pushing down this fabric, laying it down, okay? And while it's doing this, it's actually doing crisscrosses, okay? It's like doing crisscrosses going up, all right? So it's something like this. All right, so it's moving on up. And what is happening when we do that, we're gonna make a nice flat bed so my design could lay flat on our beanie, okay? So after this stitch is done, we have a nice flat bed for our design to kinda lay on, all right? So let's go ahead. Let's take it to the machine and let's get started. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure our hoop is good to go. So we're gonna trace it. Okay, so we're in boundaries. Okay, we are off the machine now. Look at this. This came out very, very, very nice. Check it out. All right, let's take it off the hoop. Okay, so our beanie is looking very, very nice. The stitches are very clean. And as you can see, when I pull it here, Okay, the design does not get distorted. That's because of our cutaway back here. Okay, we have a very good strong cutaway. Okay, so cleanup wise, there really isn't anything too much to clean up. 
okay but you always want to look double check if you have any stragglers okay but overall this beanie is ready to go okay so i have some behind the scenes photos on our instagram so make sure you check us out on instagram and of course subscribe because we have a lot of projects coming up especially this holiday season all right We're, we are going to be super super busy with projects so make sure you subscribe all right till the next time peace